What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about softening and smoothing geometry and what that means and how you can use that inside of your SketchUp models. Um, before I get started, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. Um, Daniel Tall, a friend of mine and also a great SketchUp instructor, um, is putting together a survey right now about the clipping plane issue. So the clipping plane issue is an issue that a lot of people get inside of SketchUp. SketchUp, where um, when you're switching back and forth in your views, sometimes the clipping plane will move kind of across your model. So it'll kind of clip across your, uh, it's kind of a clipping error that makes it so you can't really work in your model and it makes it really difficult to make changes and things like that. Daniel is currently looking into creating an extension to solve this issue and he just has a couple quick questions about that. So if you guys wouldn't mind taking a second and filling out that survey, I'd really appreciate it. You can access that survey by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash survey. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a video talking a little bit about softening and smoothing geometry inside of your SketchUp models. And so what softening and smoothing geometry in your models means is it's basically the way that you can see the geometry that makes up an object. So like for example, if I draw an arc here and I extrude this up, this face looks like a smooth uninterrupted face. But as a lot of you know, inside of SketchUp there's actually no such thing as a face that really curves. What this is, if you look at this, is this is actually a curve that's made up of faces made by a number of straight segments inside of this model. And you can actually see those segments inside of your model by going up to view and checking or selecting the option for hidden geometry. You can see how when you turn on hidden geometry, you actually have a number of individual faces in here that you can select individually and also a number of lines. So you can see how these lines are actually in here uh, making up this face, but when hidden geometry is turned off, you can't see them or edit them or anything like that. And so what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about kind of manipulating that geometry in order to get SketchUp to kind of do what you want. And so to start off, let's take a look at just what makes these hidden or softened. So right now, if you look at this edge, you can see how if I zoom in on it, it's actually a dotted line on this face. And so what that dotted line is indicating is it's indicating that this line has been softened. And so softened basically means that SketchUp is going to treat this as if it's not there when it's rendering visibilities and the hidden geometry in here is turned off. So for example, if I was to select this edge and go into the entity info, you can see how there's a box in here for soft and there's a box in here for smooth. Well, if I uncheck the box for soft on this line, and then I go back and turn my hidden geometry off, you can see how now this face is divided between this face and this face, and this line is in here as actual geometry. So if I was to go back and turn on hidden geometry again, keep this selected and turn on soften, you can see how now this goes to a dotted line and this face merges, or it's treated as a merged piece of geometry. So that can be important, first of all, if you want to apply like materials to faces or something like that. So like right now, if I was to apply a material like this brick material to this face, you can see how it would only apply this face to the whole thing. Well, if I was to go in here and I was to edit this or go to view hidden geometry and unsoften this, well now I can apply a brick material to this face and then I can apply a completely different material to this face over here. So this effectively splits this up into multiple faces just by softening this edge. Now if I go in here and I soften this, you can see how now this face is merged, but it maintained that material mapping that's in here. And if you wanted to wipe that back out, you would just apply a material to it again and it would wipe this whole thing back out. And so I've talked about this a little bit before, but this can be a very effective way to create things like roads on terrains that you've created with the sandbox tools. So if I was to come in here with the sandbox tool, with the smooth tool, and we'll knock this down to maybe 10 feet or something like that. And let's say I wanted to create a road that kind of moved along this piece of terrain. Um, so right now, first of all, this whole face or this whole thing um, is 
currently broken up into a grid made up of individual faces. So right now, um, I could either come in here and select some of these faces and apply a material like, let's say I was to pull up like a ground cover material. I could come in here and I could select these edges and apply a material to these if I wanted to, but you can see how it's not very precise. Um, and also this whole thing just doesn't look very good. Well, what you could do instead is you could take this whole thing and there's actually a tool inside of your uh, tray on the right hand side called the soften edges tool. So I'll minimize some of these over here. And you can turn this on by going up to your tray. So you can go to window, default tray, and check the box for soften edges. That'll turn on this tool over in your tray. And I'll go down into soften edges. You can actually take this whole thing and using this soften edges tool, you can use this slider to set all of those edges to soft. You can see how I can do that or undo that by clicking and dragging this uh, sideways like this. And one thing you're going to note is at a certain point, you stop getting edges in here that are um, that are softened. You also need to make sure that you check the box for merge or soften coplanar in here in order to get all of those to merge. But now, if we were to look at this, and we were to go to our view, hidden geometry, you can see how this geometry is all in here as softened geometry. So if I was to select any of these edges and go up into my entity info, you can see how these edges are set as softened. Well, one thing we could do with this is we could go to a top down view, kind of like this, and drag a box, maybe another box around another line, and select those, and you could actually unsoften those in order to split this up into a couple different faces. So if I go to View, Hidden Geometry, and then I click in here, you can see how now I was able to split this up into three different faces, just like this. So if I was to apply like a grass material here, I could do that really easily, and then I could apply a road material along here really easily as well. So you can see how you can use the Soften and Smooth Edges options, or the Soften Edges options in order to break up um, and also merge different areas to apply materials. And so another application for this might be if you've ever had an arc, and we'll go back to our original example, if you've ever had a shape come in here like this, and we'll uh, talk about what I did here in a second, sometimes you'll have a curve like this and you'll extrude this up, and all of these edges get extruded up as well. And the reason for that is because I came in here and I exploded this edge. So instead of this being a single welded edge, when this extruded, this got extruded because this curve after I exploded it. So if I undo all that, if I right click in here, and I click explode curve, what that does is that breaks this up into the individual edges that make up this curve. Well now if I extrude this up, this will extrude this up with that, that geometry no longer being softened and smoothed. And one way that you can fix this really quickly is by coming in here and just selecting these like this. And there's a faster way with an extension that I'll talk about in a second. But if you were to select all of these and click the box for soften, you could go ahead and you could soften these faces so that these are all hidden geometry. So you could kind of fix the fact that this got extruded um, with all that geometry showing. All right, so I promised you that I was going to talk about a way to do this with an extension. Um, so the extension that I'm gonna talk about is an extension from TomTom Tom called Selection Toys. And I will link to that in the notes down below. But when I did this before, you can see how this was kind of a time waster because I had to come in here and individually shift click on each one of these edges, that takes a lot of time. And so what I would do instead is with this extension, it allows you to filter your selections, meaning I can select things and then I can right click and I can use the function for select or select only to actively select only something that I want. So in this case, instead of going through and selecting all of these, I would just use a right to left crossing box. I would right click and I would go to select only 
edges. And you can actually go through here and select only soft edges as well. So you can see how that allows me to filter that, and that allows me to quickly come in here and make the change between softened and smooth. So, and that's one of the great things about that selection toys um, extension is it allows you to quickly select only edges or only faces or really whatever you want. So I will link to that in the notes down below. And so now I want to talk for just a second about the other option in here, which is the smooth option. So one thing you might have noticed when we did this, and I know I keep flipping the hidden geometry on and off, but one thing you might have noticed on this face as opposed to this face is that this one is a lot visually smoother than this one. So you can see how this one, you can actually see the individual edges that make up the face. And that's due to the way that SketchUp is rendering the face and the way that the light kind of bounces off of it. Um, and the fact that we only select the soften option and not the smooth option. So what the smooth option does is when you have geometry like this selected, what it's going to do is it's going to make these faces look more visually smooth. So it's going to take these faces and not only hide the edges between them, but it's also, if you look when I check that box, going to make this so this looks like more of an uninterrupted face. So you can see how that smooth option um, really allows you to adjust how smooth a face looks and make it look a lot better. So a lot of the time you're going to want to have this smooth option checked whenever you have the soften option checked. It'll just visually kind of merge the way that these edges look to make them look like a more smooth face. And so you do need to be a little bit careful because if you take something like a box, like this one, and you soften this edge, that's fine because you can see how even though this gets treated as a merged face, these edges or these faces are visually distinct from each other um, because this has a different shade on it than this one does because we didn't smooth that edge. Well, if you were to come in here and do an edit hidden geometry and select this edge and then click the smooth function, and then turn hidden geometry off, what you get is this will smooth the way that this looks around this curve, but it gets kind of visually confusing because it's just kind of merging these edges together. And when you look at this face, it's not really clear that this is just a, um, that this is just a um, two sided um, or a set of two faces moving around an edge at 90 degrees. Now that being said, you might also be able to use this to kind of fake this being a, more of a curved face. So if you're trying to keep your geometry and a model down, you might be able to do this in order to get a look that you want. But it's something you just need to be aware of that sometimes you get some kind of odd results, kind of like this one, when you have that smooth function selected. So that's kind of an overview of the way the soften and smooth functions work inside of SketchUp. It should at least give you enough of an idea that you can start incorporating those into your workflow and using them intentionally instead of kind of wondering why changes have been made. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you found this helpful, if you knew about all this. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.